Hi and welcome back to another new video. In this video we will see 20 new projects made using Raspberry Pi Pico. So, let's look at them one by one. Our very first project is a robotic arm with 6 degrees of freedom. The arm is operated by a Raspberry Pi Pico module. Here is the 3D model of the robotic arm. With a great range of motion, the robotic arm is ready to make your everyday tasks simpler. Like making a cup of tea for you. The arm can easily sort blocks of different dimensions to make a standing tower. These are some really amazing movements by the robotic arm. What do you think? This is a Bluetooth handheld controlled robot. Here is the 3D design of the robot chassis. Looks cool, right? After the design it's time to print and assemble the chassis. Here is a quick glimpse of the circuit diagram of the robot. After uploading the code, it's time to test the bot by pairing it with your smartphone. The tracks give a smooth control to bot and allows it to run in any direction. This is a Raspberry Pi 2G expansion board. You just need a SIM card and make this module work as a phone with calling and call receiving feature. To work with it, you just have to attach the components like an antenna, a SIM card, Raspberry Pi Pico, and you are good to go. Here is the PCB design of the board. Let's now see how it works. Isn't it amazing? What do you think? What is a Fizzbuzz? Fizzbuzz is a counting game that is designed to learn your 3 and 5 times tables. So, instead of 3 and its multiples, you are going to say Fizz. And for the number 5 and its multiples, you will say Buzz. So, the counting goes like 1, 2, Fizz, 4, Buzz, Fizz, 7, and so on. In the game as the screen counts up, you have to tap the buttons, indicating the fizz, buzz, or both. So, as the screen displayed 3, fizz button was pressed, while as 5 was displayed, buzz has to be pressed. So, isn't it a great way to learn the tables? What do you think? This is a Raspberry Pi Pico expansion board. It comes with an inbuilt OLED screen and a buzzer. With this in your workbench, you just have to plug the necessary sensors. Like the MPU6050. For taking the analog readings, you can use a slide potentiometer. You can also connect the other sensors easily and get the readings on the display. Isn't it amazing? This small setup draws a mandel brought on an OLED screen. Every single pixel in the image requires a lot of complex calculations. But, don't you worry, as Raspberry Pi Pico handles all the mathematics. The potentiometer on the left controls the Y-axis movement, while the one at the bottom controls the X-axis movement of the slider. Once you find the desired area to zoom in, you can use the upper potentiometer to select how much you want to zoom the image. Once you find the perfect portion, press the zoom button to get a clearer image on the OLED display. To get the image in a higher resolution, just press the bottom button. So, isn't it amazing? Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. Well, as the title says it is a party of different motors. The host is a Raspberry Pi Pico which drives every motor in a particular way. Each one of the motor runs for a specific time after pressing a switch. 
As you can see, on pressing the same button, the motor performs a different movement for the next time. The interesting part of this project is that the rotation of each motor is unique, that means, no two motors run similarly. So, what do you think about this motor party? This project requires three switches and a Raspberry Pi Pico to control the movement of the stepper motor. Two buttons make the motor rotate in either direction. So, the left button rotates the motor in anti-clockwise direction while the right one rotates it in clockwise direction. The third button brings back the stepper motor to its home position. But, if you want to create a new home position for the motor, just press and hold the third button for 2 seconds. This will set the current location of the stepper motor as the new home position. What do you think about this project? This is a Pico-based tricopter. After connecting it with the phone's Bluetooth, the LEDs in the tricopter flashes, which indicates that the tricopter is paired and ready to fly. With just three colors DC motors, an outer frame, and a Raspberry Pi Pico, you can fly a tricopter using your smartphone. The lightweight design of the overall model gives you a thrilling experience while flying the copter. Look how beautiful it looks while flying in the air. Tell us in the comments if you loved this. This robot senses the obstacles around it using an ultrasonic sensor. So, the robot first measures the distance of its nearby surroundings from its current position. After comparing all the values, the robot moves in that direction where the distance is maximum between the sensor and the object. The robot stops as soon as the distance between the sensor and object is less than the predefined value. It again checks for a new direction to keep moving. This way, it never collides with nearby objects. So, can you guess some practical application for this project? Tell us in the comments. If you work on multiple programs on your computer, you can save time and make your task quicker using this shortcut keypad. Using this project, you can select 12 different keyboard shortcuts. A toggle switch lets you switch between the programs. The LCD displays what each switch is designed to do. You can either use it as a keypad or assign a particular task for the key. The LCD and the keys get updated according to the application that is currently selected. So, make your task quicker using this keypad and save time. This is a point-to-point -point railway model. The project demonstrates how a locomotive moves within two set locations automatically. The locomotive starts from its initial position at a slow speed. After crossing a sensor, the locomotive picks up speed and heads toward its destination. A similar sensor slows down the train's speed before stopping at its destination. The train stops for a fixed time and follows a similar process to reach its initial position. So, how will you rate this project on the scale of 10? This project monitors real-time cryptocurrency data and notifies for any price change. With a joystick, you can toggle between five different cryptocurrencies. Selecting a particular cryptocurrency gives you the information on current price, total volume, price change in the last 24 hours, and the percentage change in USD in 24 hours. So, whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other crypto in which you invest. With this simple project, you have all your crypto info in one place. This project uses a Raspberry Pi Pico and 16 LED arcade buttons to make a pleasant MIDI controller. The buttons are shown as circles with numbers that represent the MIDI notes. You can use the joystick to select the button. It works just like the keypad from the game controller. Let us hear a pleasing note on this MIDI controller.
This robot detects and follows the course of a black line. Wondering how it works? The robot uses infrared sensors placed at the front of the robot. An IR sensor emits infrared rays on the surface, while an IR detector picks up the reflected waves. The intensity of the received light varies according to the surface, which means that a light surface reflects more waves than a black surface. So using this principle, the robot always follows the desired line. You might have seen many gaming projects, but this one is quite different and exciting. It is a snake game in which the snake does not move in a straight line but slathers around. You can control the game using four tactile switches and see the visuals on an OLED screen. You have to come up with different variations of transitions every time you move in a particular direction. The snake grows bigger after eating an egg, and the game speed also increases. Using this Pico clock you can make sure that you utilize your time wisely. This clock has 5 skins that display time in 5 different formats. So, select the one as default, which you love the most. Moreover, the module also features a stopwatch which can be selected using the left button. The other feature of this clock is a timer. When the timer is over, a message gets displayed on the screen. The next one is a Pico-based piano. The components used in this project are a Raspberry Pi Pico, jumper wires, speakers, and some resistors. So, looking on the back side of the board, we will see a string of resistors. The tone sound changes when we touch the jumper wire after a resistor. The joint between two resistors is connected to a key on the other side of the piano. After seeing how it works, let's hear a tone on this homemade piano. It is a matrix touch keyboard with 12 programmable keys. The PCB is soldered with 14 pins for the TFT, 4 pins for the SD card, and 40 pins for the Pico. Look how beautiful the project looks after the soldering. After compiling and uploading the program to the keypad, the display is ready for the calibration for the first time. For calibration, just touch the corners of the screen. And after that, you are ready to work on your keypad. It is an exciting project that lets you display custom made fonts on a Raspberry Pi Pico display. Consider this alphabet A. To display this, a string of binary number is present in form of zeros and ones. By altering the binary sequence, you can easily design a custom font of your own. Like this smiley face is designed by altering the numbers for each pixel. Let's look how to add this custom smiley on the display. In the program, add the text hello and some smiley faces. Hit the run and see the message on the Pico display. So, we hope you loved the project. If you want your projects in our upcoming videos, share them on our mail or our Instagram account. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.